transmit television images and telephone calls across the Atlantic via satellites. Way up there. Fascinating stuff. Seven years ago, in 1952, that's exactly what we achieved for the first time ever, right here. If you missed that historic milestone, Mr. Marconi's team reckoned they could create a radio signal powerful enough to be picked up on the <coughs> other side of the Atlantic. They built a massive transmitter in Poland, a few miles from here, and were able to send a signal to an aerial hanging from a giant kite in Newfoundland, 2,500 miles away. The next big Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans to bounce radio signals around the globe. Hardly anyone took him seriously, and it's easy to see why. This was when the age of modern communications technology really took off. Telstar were only 300 kilometers above the surface of the planet, and as it passed overhead, it could only receive and transmit signals for about 20 minutes, and then you had to wait. About the same amount of energy you'd feel on Earth from a small electric fire on the moon. That's one reason why our satellite dishes have to be so big for a thousand tons, yet it can still turn through a full 360 degrees. Arthur's also the world's first parabolic satellite dish, meaning that it's shaped like a reflector in a torch to focus the beam of microwave signals being transmitted and received. Now, you might think also, there aren't any major cities nearby, so the atmosphere is clean and free from electrical interference. <coughs> As Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon, an achievement. Yeah. 